All right, so today I am going to do an experiment. There is often this debate on how to do proper listing optimization on Amazon. And uh, a lot of people will tell you to like stuff your title with as many keywords as you can and just maximize every single bullet point and, and put everything in there. And then um, on the other camp, you have these guys that are like, you know what, what we wanna do is you want a short title and be more uh, condensed with what you want and just put the keywords that, that you really focus on and everything else. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually create two listings uh, on Amazon for the exact same product. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to, I found a product on Walmart that we're gonna use. And if somebody ends up buying this thing, I guess we will drop ship it to them. Um, but really we're just gonna put things in. So we're gonna do one that's like a keyword stuffed uh, listing. So we're gonna shove in as many keywords as we can come up with and just make it super, super long. And then on the other one, we're gonna do like really simple, short bullet points, short things. And then we're gonna look and see, you know, how that listing is doing for our targeted keywords. So that's it. I got some UPCs that I bought. I'm gonna make these things and I'll kind of show a little bit of footage of that. And then it might take a couple of days to actually see how, um, how uh, these things react because the search engine doesn't just automatically update every minute. Um, but we'll go ahead and create the listings and then we'll check back in and see how they do. All right, so I went ahead and found a product. I actually found a product on Walmart. Uh, it's this stainless steel kettle, tea kettle here. That's 15, 15, normally 50 bucks. Um, not trying to do retail arbitrage here necessarily, but uh, maybe if these magically sell, we'll, we'll make a little markup. Um, so what I did is I just kept it super simple. I just put in stainless steel mirror, mirrored tea kettle. Actually, I'm even gonna get rid of the word mirrored. I'm just gonna say stainless steel tea kettle. So we're gonna try to see how well we can get this thing to rank just by doing listing optimization for the keyword stainless steel tea kettle and then tea kettle. So we're just, these are like the only keywords we're worried about, right? Um, and then we'll just kind of look and see what happens there. So that's that. For variations, I just left it blank. Uh, for offer, I just put in kettle dash one, quantity of just five, new condition, and then 24.99. Um, I am going to, this is going to be a merchant fulfilled, so we're not doing FBA for now because we didn't actually stock these. I just grabbed one image, so I put that on there. Uh, for the description, for the features, I just grabbed a few of these bullet points here, kept them super vague, just these. And then I took a little bit of text from the, um, from the description that they had just a little bit so there's a few keywords in here and then in keywords i literally just put tea kettle that's it and target audience is set of adults and women there's a lot more advanced stuff you can do here but we're just keeping this like uber uber simple more details nothing and then i did nothing in the advanced view right so none of this none of this business so we're just keeping this like uber uber simple just like the bare bones listing. And we'll do this, and then we're gonna take another one and we're going to optimize the heck out of it. I'm actually gonna have one of my team members do that for me because I don't feel like doing it. <laughs> so we'll have somebody on our managed services team just optimize this thing. They're gonna put every single keyword and fill out all the, the backend data points and do everything. And we're gonna compare the difference, right? Because the idea is that Supposedly, if you put tons of keywords in there and you optimize everything, then it's gonna be great, right? So the price will be the same. It'll still be the same image. So we're not gonna change the photography for right now. And we're not gonna change the, um, the fulfill by, it'll still be FBA. So all those will be the same, but they can put as much information as they want in the title, in the description, in the bullet points and the backend keywords and all that kind of data. They can just fill out all that information and give Amazon everything they're asking for. And then we're gonna look and we're gonna see which one, we're gonna track both of these in uh, MassView's Rank Insight and we're gonna see which one ranks better for the keywords. 
see who wins. Listing optimization, like uber optimized or like bare bones. Let's try it out. We'll check back in once we get the other one like super optimized. All right, so a couple weeks ago, we did the listing experiment and where we kind of took a super uh, simple, like non-optimized uh, uh, product and, and then we did the exact same version, but we optimized the heck out of it, right? And we did all the back end stuff and, and everything. And so the, this is the product we did. It was this tea kettle here. Um, and interesting, like neither of them really got ranked because we didn't do anything else. We didn't drive any sales. We didn't do any ads. We, we don't even have these, right? So we don't want to sell them. Uh, but we were just trying to see which one ranked better based on, you know, the title and everything like that. So I had to end up putting in like some really weird uh, words. Uh, I put super duper tea kettle in the, or put super duper in the front of it because that way it would like eliminate all the other tea kettles out of there. And so as you can see, if we just type in super duper tea kettle, um, we get the first one actually ranks better. Uh, the one, or the, the, the first one, the one that's all optimized is ranking better, right? It's, it's before the other one. And pretty much, pretty much, uh, everything that you search for the first one's better unless you type in something like unless you literally like copy and paste the actual title right so if i type in super duper stainless steel tea kettle this one here actually shows up for super duper stainless steel tea kettle so the unoptimized one so basically conclusion of the experiment is right now is if you optimize your listing, you are going to probably rank better except for the exact search phrase of your title. So if you want to do like a super optimized listing and you just want to rank for like one keyword and you make it like really, really short, um, then you can do that. But otherwise, um, optimize your listing. It's amazing how many keywords this product is indexed for versus uh, this one, right? We got, we got indexed for all these keywords and everything. Not ranking very well for any of them because we haven't done anything to make ourselves rank, but we're indexed for all kinds of keywords here. We're indexed for very few on the unoptimized listing. So um, as it states right now, we are doing a lot better with the optimized listing than we were with the other one, which uh, makes sense, but it was good to know. Um, if you want us to do more experiments, just let us know in the comments. Let me know what you want me to experiment on and we'll do it. I'll have my team do it. We'll figure it out. Uh, a couple ones that we're gonna probably do next is uh, FBA versus Merchant Fulfilled. We're gonna try pricing and see how that affects it. We're gonna kind of do some experiments and, and see what's going on. But let me know what you need and we'll figure it out. Thanks for watching and uh, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks.